Okay, so today we're going to tighten the chain of an SV650S 2006. And um, basically, rule of thumb here is going to be one to one and a quarter inch of slack. Uh, uh, right about between the uh, pivot over here and which is, or sorry, the center of the sprocket, which is kind of in there somewhere. Uh, and the center of the rear axle. Um, so that that's somewhere right around here, and you want one to one and a quarter inches of slack. Um, but because there are tight spots and low spots, which are spots where the chain is stretched more or less, you're just going to want to find the spot which is more or less the tightest, I think. And uh, from there, you're going to adjust it so that there is about one to one and a quarter inches of slack. Um, so yeah, so you can kind of so from the top. So from the top of the chain, and when you push it all the way up to the top, you measure from the top to where the top was. So you kind of pull this down a little bit to make it taut, then all the way up. And how much that is, is going to be how much slack you've got. Right now I've got about two inches of slack from when I measured it. Just about two inches, maybe a little bit. I think actually it's like one and a half inches. Um, so I'm going to tighten it, and steps to do this basically are going to be to loosen the rear axle. So you got a big and that thing here uh, this is a screw but on this side you got a nice nut here and um, this these are gonna be your adjusters um, and what you're gonna do if your wheels already straight which it ought to be unless you're doing this right after you got your tire, in which case it won't be, or what? right after you change your tire and you're mounting the wheel for the first time, where it won't be straight. Uh, my wheel has been on here for a while, so I know that, that it is straight. Um, basically what I'm going to do is, after I loosen the, the axle, I'm going to just uh, turn these the same, the same amount on each side, so that I know that the wheel is moving back exactly as much on both sides and then I'm going to retighten everything up and then that'll be it. Um, there are, go to the other side where there's light, see there are little graduations here, um, those tell you approximately how close it is. You can see there's a little divot right there, a little um, thing. Uh, and that tells you kind of where it is. Uh, these markings aren't exact, so, you know, read them with caution. They're, it's just for, like, a general idea. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so on the SV650S, this is a castellated nut with a, a little pin thing. My dad tells me that it's called a cotter pin, so I'm going to bend this and pull this out through the top. And this is a 24mm socket on this side, a 22mm socket on the other side. So we're going to loosen the axle slightly so that the wheel can move back and forth. Um, that's so, so you know, the adjustment basically works like the axle moves slightly back and forth in this slider. Well, not, not when you're riding. Uh, you move it that way so the chain tightens and you move it that way to loosen it. Um, typically, in adjustment, you should be tightening it uh, because your chain would have stretched. If your chain's already too tight, you're going to be pushing your wheel that way instead of that way. Um, yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to take the pin out, loosen the axle, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've loosened the nut, um, maybe a bit too much, but uh, I've loosened it on both sides. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is measure the chain slack. I've already measured it initially, which you guys should have done, the trusty tape measure. Um, so now I'm going to measure it again, just in case, and I'm going to, um, look for the, look, you know, look for the, whatever, tight spot or whatever it is, um, right there, right about there, which is about halfway, uh, between the two sprockets. And then I'm going to loosen these or whatever so that um I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn these nuts so that the axle can move back a bit to tighten it up okay so I've uh, 
tighten this. Okay, so when you, at least on my bike, when you when you tighten that bolt, it tightens up the chain. Uh, when you loosen it, it loosens up the chain. Um, I guess pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so now that I've uh, tightened up the chain here, uh, let's see if I can get this focus. When I press this down, it's not focused at all. Come on. All right. So when I press this down, it's just just about at two inches. So you want to press it down when you measure so that it's um, it's fully taut. And then when you press it, push it up, it's just about at uh, what you call it, just under one inch. So from this measurement, if two is zero, just above what, just whatever, under to closer to the metal part by one inch. So it's right about there when at the top, and right about there at the bottom, which gives me just just under one and a quarter inches of slack, which should be pretty much good to go. So we can just check this in a couple other spots. Press down, it's about two. Press up, that's a little bit under, it's a quarter inch. Um, and so you should do that once you check it out. You should see that you have about one to one and a quarter inches of slack. Um, if your wheel is already straight, the key is to tighten these equally, as I already said, um, or loosen them equally if you feel like your chain is too tight and that's why you're doing this. Um, uh, and to check to, that your wheel is straight, you measure from the pivot. Oh, come on. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this extended. All right. So you measure from the pivot, which is right there, which is where the swing arm connects to the frame, to the uh, center of the back sprocket, the hub. So, and it should be equal on both sides. Um, I will, let's see if I can get this. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you with the other camera.